Here's an example with induced EMF. A circular 20-turn coil has a diameter of 7.5 centimeters. It lies in a uniform magnetic field of 0.1 tesla that points out of the page. The coil is rotated one corner turn from perpendicular until it is parallel to the field. How quickly must this be done for the average EMF to be 1.5 volts, and which way does the induced current flow? You have a power supply that can deliver a maximum of 5 amperes. Design an apparatus that can produce the uniform magnetic field in this problem. First, of course, we draw the diagram and we add our information. We know that the coil is made of 20 turns, that the diameter is 7.5 centimeters, which means that the radius of the coil is 3.75 centimeters, and the magnetic field 0.1 and sticking out of the page. To find the time in which the rotation has to occur for the EMF to be 1.5 volts, we are going to need Faraday's law. The average induced EMF will be equal to negative the number of turns multiplied by the change in magnetic flux over the time. The time during which the coil is rotated is therefore equal to the negative of the number of turns multiplied by the final flux minus the initial flux over the average desired EMF. The magnetic flux is equal to the magnetic field multiplied by the area of the coil multiplied by the cos of the angle between the magnetic field and the area vector. Remember the area vector is at 90 degrees to the area of the coil. The final angle between the magnetic field and the area vector is 90 degrees. This is because the magnetic field is sticking out towards us and once the coil has rotated its area vector points towards the top of the page or the top of the screen if you, if you like. Therefore the magnetic flux is zero because the cos of 90 degrees is zero. Similarly the initial angle between the magnetic field and the area vector is zero because both vectors point in the same direction. The cos of zero is one, the initial magnetic flux is therefore given simply by the magnetic field multiplied by the area. The time required is therefore minus 20, that's the number of turns, multiplied by zero minus 0.1, that's the magnetic field, times pi times 3.75, 10 to the negative 2 squared, that's the area, and divided by 1.5, that's the desired average EMF. The time is 5.89 milliseconds. To find the induced current, we use Lenz's law. The external magnetic field points out of the page, the flux decreases, the induced EMF which opposes the change must therefore point in the same direction, that is out of the page. And to find the direction of the induced current, I place my right thumb in the direction of the induced EMF and my fingers curl counterclockwise. So the induced current is counterclockwise. Now, to design something that can produce the uniform magnetic field with a power supply of 5 amperes. Uniform magnetic fields can be produced inside of solenoids, so I'm going to use a solenoid. The first thing that I need to figure out is how many turns per meter my solenoid must have. So in order to figure that out, n, the number of turns, will be equal to the magnetic field divided by mu0, which is a constant, multiplied by the current. Plugging the numbers in, the number of turns is equal to 0.1 tesla divided by 4 pi 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by 5 amperes and that gives me 15,915 turns per meter. Now my loop has a diameter of 7.5 centimeters and that loop has to fit into the solenoid. So let's say that the diameter of my solenoid is 10 centimeters. For the infinite solenoid approximation to apply, I need the length of the solenoid to be much bigger than the radius. So the radius of my solenoid is 5 centimeters. I can make the length of my solenoid 30 centimeters. 15,915 turns per meter multiplied by a length of 0.3 meters 
means that my solenoid has to be made out of 4,775 turns. And those 4,775 turns multiplied by the circumference, so 2 pi r, or 2 pi times 5 centimeters meters per turns, means that I need a kilometer and a half in order to make that solenoid. My answer is that my solenoid will have a diameter of 10 centimeters, a length of 30 centimeters, 5 amperes of current going through it, and that I'll need 1.5 kilometers of wire to make it. Now I could have also specified um, specified the wire differently. I could have mentioned the 15,915 turns per meter, or I could have said that it needed a total of 4,775 turns. In this particular case, since the question was worded very broadly, as long as it was clear how to make the solenoid, it was probably okay. Here is the solution on two pages. Spread the joy of physics.